All right. Let's go ahead and we can start in our child's pose. We're going to hit up those legs. I have a couple different sets of weights handy. Sometimes I'm not quite sure how well I'll be able to handle certain stuff. So as always, don't worry if you have to go down and wait. Just stay in a healthy, healthy weight range with your dumbbells. All right, go ahead and come forward. Just hinge through those hands. Flex your glutes. Push the chest through. Push into your arms. Pull those elbows back behind you. And then curl your toes under and push your hips up and back. Pedal your feet for me, left and right. Really drive the chest back toward your thighs. Take some deep breaths. Good. Push your chest back toward your thighs. Level off your feet. Take a deep inhale and exhale. And then let's lift the right leg up and down. We'll go up and down for five on the right side. Belly strong. Try to push evenly through both hands. Four. And five. Make sure you're staying relaxed in the neck. Kind of flare through those shoulder blades. Now we're on the left side. Four. And five. All right, widen your feet and walk your hands back toward your feet. And if you need to, just sink your hips all the way down. Get some space in those hips. Hinge side to side. Check in with your knees, your low back. All right, go ahead and come on up to standing. All right, and then we'll work through um, the rounds, kind of unweighted, getting a little bit deeper into or go through some more warm-up, give ourselves a chance there, and figure out what's coming along. So first off, we'll start off, and everything should be weighted if you can, but we're going to go in a lunge matrix. So the hardest part is just going to be finding the space. But you'll lunge forward, then you're going to lunge to the side, and then you're gonna lunge back. That's one, and we're gonna go six of them, or you can count to 18. All right, let's try the other side. Lunge forward, lunge to the side, lunge back, drive through that front heel, lunge forward, lunge to the side, get that one leg super straight, and lunge back. All right. Next up, we're going to do something we don't do very often, but it is kind of fun to throw in now and then, calf raises. So if you have, just lift your heels straight up and down. It's good for the ankles as well and the whole leg. Having those strong calves helps with ankles and knees. It's not just for the crazy people. <laughs> All right, once you get your straight ones, and we're going to go 20 each direction, you're going to open your toes nice and wide. I call it Mary Poppins toes. So open those toes out, heels are in, three, four, and five. And then you're gonna bring your toes together and your heels wide, and we're gonna go up and down again. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, then we're gonna do a combo, a curtsy deadlift. We've done these before. So if you were to take your right leg back behind, Step together, and then you just deadlift in the front. Right leg back, so we'll do all 10 on one side. For us warming up, let's switch to the other side now. Cut behind, push through that front heel. Chest forward, leading the way. Back nice and flat. There we go. Okay, and then the last weighted um, leg set is gonna be a narrow squat to a wide squat. And I'm gonna try to hold my weights up at the shoulders. So just your regular squat, come all the way to standing. You'll step to the right, squat wide, narrow, squat, right, squat. Narrow, now let's go to the left, squat left, press it up, narrow, and squat right. We're going to do 10 of those as well. So each uh, position will be one. All right, and then our little core move, 
before we hit our successive rounds. You're gonna try to find a hollow, like a boat hold, just like this. So if this is where your happy place is, what works for you as far as core contraction goes, stay here. Otherwise, if you can, take your hands just to the temples and you're gonna, basically gonna do a bicycle push side to side. So we'll go 10 each side. So half of it's finding that core to hold the body still in place. And then the other piece of it will be to move those legs out side to side. Stay strong in that core. Let's go two more each side. One and two. All right, go ahead and just lower down, hug your knees into the chest, and then we'll get started. So remember on those um, little hollow hold, those boat hold crunches, it's all about keeping it in your core. So find that spot where it doesn't put the pressure on the low back. All right, let's come on up for our lunge matrix. I'm gonna get this out of the way while I'm doing this. All right, I'm gonna try to go fairly heavy. We'll see how it goes. All right, so six uh, total front side back. Here we go, ready, set, step forward, lunge in, step to the side, lunge in, step back. Pressing through that front leg, whichever position it's in. So that bending leg. There's two, chest tall, core strong. Oh, I feel that weight on the <laughs> side lunge. Four, step long. When you press back out of that side lunge, keep the straight leg straight. One more on this side. And then we're gonna switch to the other side. All right, lunge forward to the side and back. Front knee right on top of that heel. And if you need to stay static, stay static, meaning you don't move the leg uh, in and out. Just do six each direction at a time. Core strong, chest tall. Four, drive off that front heel. Last round here, get nice and wide. Six. All right, we're gonna go calf raises, shoulders back and down, chest nice and tall, lift 20 in the front. Great opportunity to focus on the, the core and your mobility in the ankles. So find your solid stance, your pelvis is neutral, your core is strong, just like if you were in a Tadasana pose in yoga. Five more. It's almost like a farmer carry too, we're just holding our weights in space. Two and one. All right, find your Mary Poppins feet, toes out, and go. I always think I hardly have any range on some of these. That's good though, it means I haven't been wearing high heels all my life. Uh, nothing wrong with those though if you wanna wear them, of course. 13, Ooh, I'm starting to feel it. Chest tall, core strong, find that stance. 19, 20. Okay, now pull your toes in and lift. Chest 
chest tall, core strong. Halfway. My toes are wanting to move back to the front. This should also help us when we're in our plyometric sets or doing jump rope, even running. 16. Keep that tall chest. And 20. All right, I'm going to give my hands a little break. Stretch forearms. All right, we're going to do our curtsy to deadlift. All right, grab those weights again. So if you're going to start with the right leg forward, left leg would cut back, get nice and low, come to the top, hinge forward, press. Glutes strong. Think about your core always. Squeeze between those shoulder blades. So whichever leg's forward, that's the one that's going to start burning here. Pushing more out of the front heel than you are driving off that back toe. Seven. Keeping that core strong. Eight. And 10. Other side. Drive to the front heel. Find that solid deadlift. Think about your core a lot. That's what's protecting the low back. All right, I'm noticing I'm not getting my full hip flexion at the top of my deadlift. I'm kind of just ready to go back into the curtsy. So let's watch that. Hinge forward, get your full thrust. Getting the hips forward, flexing those glutes. This is seven. Flex a lot, getting those glutes. Nine. And 10. All right, again, I'm gonna give my hands a little break. Oh my goodness, Tuesday, you guys' pecs, <laughs> pecs and shoulders sore. Oh, mine are. Still, okay, here we go. I'm gonna try for my weights up top. Sit back and down, kind of your more narrow squat. Step to the right, squat, step in. Lots of core. That's three. Drive to those heels. Whew. It's not working too well on my shoulders. There we go. That'll work. Sit back and down. Chest is tall. This is nine. Find the burn in those glutes. And ten. Same thing, other side, narrow. Now step to the left. Hinge back and down. Hinge back and down. Keep those knees lined with toes. Looking good. This is eight. Work to find the glutes. Chest is tall. And 10. Whew, nicely done. All right. We're going to be on our booties for those little V runners. So find your hollow hold. 
Feel free to start hugging the knees in. Find your sweet spot. Hands come back. And then if you're pedaling, pedal. There's one. Scoop the low belly. Four. Find the abdomen. Woo. Seven. That's it. Big twist. Don't forget that twist. And ten. And ten. All right. I'm going to lie down real quick. Plug the knees in. Nice work. One round down. Okay. However you like to get up, you can try to rock and roll. No hands if that works for you. Now we're going back to set two. Starting off with our lunge matrix. Grabbing those weights. Okay. Start with your step forward. Lunge forward. Lunge to the side. And then lunge to the back. That's one. Five more. Try to challenge your weight. If you're done with this six, feel like you could do more. Stop and grab something if you have it. Otherwise, just take faster reps than I am and get a few more reps. Two more rounds on this side. Should be getting all around Woo. in that thigh. Here we go. Other side. Step forward to the side and back. Line that knee and toe. Work to keep your hips square. Tighten the core a little more if you can. Three more. Great range. Great pace. Last round. And back. All right. Let me give my weights a rest. Arms a rest. Whew. I always love how those heavy weights on legs still gets me feeling like I'm <laughs> Running a marathon somehow. All right, shoulders back and down, toes straight ahead, 20 calf raises. Keep that pelvis nice and neutral. 10 more. This is a good one too, to go back and see what your heels are doing. Three, two, one. All right, go with your toes wide to see if one gets higher or if one heel or ankle falls in or out. That will let you know some discrepancies, what could cause some knee or foot pain. 10 more. Lift that chest tall. I feel like I'm barely lifting. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, toes to center. Ready, set, lift. Shoulders back and down. Keep kind of feeling those glutes help out. 
So make sure that your hips aren't thrusting forward, nor are they dipping back. Find a gentle glute contraction. Three to go. And one. All right. Give your hands a little break. And we're gonna hit up our curtsy to deadlift. Whew. Here we go. Weights come up, cut behind, press in, deadlift, get that thrust, that hip thrust. There should be no closure of space in that deadlift as you hinge forward between your rib cage and your hip bones. Chest tall, shoulders back and down, thrust. Don't forget that thrust of the deadlift. Six. Get the hip flexors open and really supercharge those glutes. One more. Straight into that other side. Press through, deadlift, thrust. If you find that the deadlift gets into your low back, try keeping a wider stance as you deadlift. This is seven. Core stays strong. Last one. All right. Give your hands a little break. We're going to do our mid to wide squat. All right, here we go. Find that placement in your weights that works for you. Squat mid, step to the left or right, squat back, two, three. Focus, get your setup, knees, Line with toes. Perfect. I like the goblet hold. Seven. Back and down. Here's ten. Let's see if we can go straight to that other side. Step it out, squat wide. Have your core help support, don't forget it. Five, belly strong. Three to go, each direction, chest tall, sit those hips back, two, and one. Whew. Nice work. All right, sitting down. Nice job, nice job. We're gonna come into that boat pose. Knees are up and then twist. One, two, big twist. 
four. Tuck and scoop that belly. This is good. Feel that contraction. That's what's holding you stable or keeping you from falling over. Two more each side. And two. All right, roll back. Tuck your knees. Okay, we're going to do a little speed round. Tuck and roll. We have five minutes left for our technical 30 minutes. But I want to get one last quick little set. So we're going to go two rounds of our matrix to start. Ready, set, step forward, step side, step back. One more round here, forward, side, back, other side, step forward on your new leg, step to this side, back, one more, forward, side, come back, come up for those calf raises, we'll go five each direction. Three, four, five. Toes open out. One, two, three. Toes go in. Two, three, four, five. All right. Two curtsy deadlifts each side. One, get your hip thrust at the top. Whew. Thrust, other side. Drop, thrust. Thrust, okay. Narrow squat, wide squat. Narrow, super wide, two each side. Narrow, wide. Other side, oops, I forgot. <laughs> Push it back, hinge, back it down, wide, set them down, get on that mat. We're going to go all 10 of our boat twists. One, two, three, flex those feet. Flex the foot. Ten. Ten. All right. Good job. Lie it down. Push your hips up into a glute bridge. Try to get those hip flexors nice and open. We're going to just hold those hamstrings and glutes a little longer. Push in all four corners of the feet. Pull the heels back towards your shoulders. 10, 9, 8. Find as much flexion as you can. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower the hips. Cross your right ankle over the left knee. Pull from behind that left thigh, flexing both feet. Dig that elbow into the knee, that right elbow into right knee. Check in with your stretches. Are you getting any further? Hopefully. If you've noticed that you have been tight. Okay, keep your leg where it is, your left, I'm sorry, your right ankle, and just straighten your left leg. And now get into that hamstring. If you prefer stretching with the right foot on the ground, go for it. That's totally fine. Otherwise, stay crossed over here. Pull from behind that ankle. All right, and then switch it up. So now your left ankle goes over the right knee. Grab behind that right thigh. Pull into the chest while you're pushing the left knee away from you. Flex both feet. Check in with the pelvis. Keep it square to the ground. All 
All right, and then straighten that right leg. Same thing if you prefer to put your left foot on the ground, you can. Otherwise, just pull that right toe back and pull the right thigh towards you with the straight leg, straight leg on that right side. All right, come up to seated. We're gonna try a little, another little glute stretch. So take your right foot back behind you, crossed under, and then the left over the top and kind of open your heels away from you just as much as you can. So you might not be able to get your knees stacked. That's okay, but try. Get as close as you can and then slowly hinge forward. So the goal here is to feel hip flexors and or glutes. So depending on where you're tight, that's where you're gonna feel it. Just lean the body over those thighs. Whew. And then the other side. So now tuck left leg under, right leg over. Open the heels a bit out away from you and then slowly walk forward. And possibly feel a major difference one side to the other. Crazy. Reach that chest over. All right. Good job, everybody. Made it. A nice weighted leg day. Stretch over those legs. Just a good old forward fold. Okay.